Unlike lines, tapirs wouldn't necessarily be known as fearsome or even particularly elegant. But they sure know what's good for them. John, who's one of the rangers looking after them, is for once indulging them. The Brazilian tapirs here in Fota look somewhat similar to our domestic pig, but they're actually more closely related to horses, zebras and rhinos. Maya is missing out on the fun. She is due to give birth any day. Thank you. And Aidan, her lead ranger, is keeping a close eye on her. She's getting very close to the end. Just uh, going back as far as September, she was 260 kilos. And now uh, into January, she's 285 kilos. It's kind of a long gestation, it's 13 months. 13, 13 months. 13 months, yeah, yeah. So you thought, you thought you had it bad. <laughs> I noticed, like, John was a little bit hands-on with them. It's not, a, it's not a petting farm, so if you're getting hands-on an animal like that, generally it has to be for a reason, like training yeah. or that kind of thing. Like, so if you want to look at their feet, say if they have a potential cracked hoof or something like that, you can use it, you get them to lie down and you can get them to check their feet. Yeah. Or if you want to sneak some medicine into them, we kind of scratch under the chin and yeah. then we can kind of squeeze the medicine into the mouth and they're not looking, that kind of thing. Like, and I think I can um, hear them. Can they smell the food or do they know it's morning yeah, they probably, time? They know, they know they're getting fed soon and when they, they start making this high-pitched kind of squeaking sound, yeah. Yeah. Um, giving out, looking for food. So this is Maya. Maya. She's obviously the hungriest one. <laughs> looking for it. Look at the mouth and everything's going already. So you can kind of see from the size of her, like, you know, she's she's good, kind of barrel shaped, like, you know. This is Pablo, this is the calf from um, 2017. And then Basil, if he gets out of bed, should be next. We give them a small bit of fruit, some vegetables every morning, and their pellets just to make sure they get the vitamins and minerals they need. Yeah. Um, and then the bulk of the diet is made up with um, branches and hay. Oh, there's Basil now. We're going to shift over here now because yeah. we have one rule, which is you never stand behind the male taper. Yeah. Um, unless you want to shower. Yeah. So they, they tend to mark their territory, so you can see on the houses where they spray all the walls. Is that their spray? Yeah, it's like a shotgun in the face. Is it? Yeah, yeah, so you never stand behind the male. I'll just, I'll just keep moving never slightly the, there. <laughs> never got the full blast. So if he turns, we turn. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you're always cautious and you're always watching. At the end of the day, they are, they are wild and they are unpredictable. Some great news at Fota as one of the most eagerly anticipated babies has finally arrived. It's been a long wait, but well worth it. Maya uh, finally calved after 13 months of waiting. It's always a great day when it, um, when it finally happens and when it goes well, it's even better. We're just gonna roll it over slightly Check the condition of the navel. Just put the antibiotic on first and then the barrier spray will just help protect it from the elements. In there. That's that. She'll be a bit upset for a little while, but she'll be okay. The calf is another welcome arrival for an animal that is often referred to as a living fossil, because tapirs have been roaming the planet longer than most of the mammals. We already have three males, and we had two females, so now we have three and three, so it's, it's good balance. Usually you're kind of angling more towards wanting the girl than the males, because you don't, generally don't need that many males, whereas um, you obviously get a lot more calves if the more females you have, whereas one male can, he can impregnate quite a lot of females, you know, if he's lucky. <laughs> They're such a gorgeous little calf as well, like they're, they're probably the cutest um, animal on the, in the park, to be honest, in my opinion, anyway. It's a little bit wobbly on its feet because it's obviously just brand new. So once it gets a bit of strength up, it'll start running around the place and exploring and yeah, it's great. It's great. <laughs> 